music videos like back then, like like you said, back in the good old days of MTV, right? They were uh-huh. literally like small films, short films, right? You had to really come at it like a film director. Um and they kind and then they kind of just transitioned, you know, and then we kind of started to lose steam and as they were moving away from videos and everything like that. But I think early on, and we hear about it so often, there were so many filmmakers who who broke ground and started their careers in that genre of doing those music videos. Talk about that. Did you ever see was the plan? I know you talked about your love for the music and everything, but did you know that the plan was eventually to move onto the film and, and television and stuff like that or was it always i'm loving what i'm doing this is my jam right here no that's a good that's a good question is that is that no if if the whole thing is it, it is the music business and mm. so yeah, back then they especially in the 90s it was such a great time for the business side of it because yeah um you know, they they made this thing that they they made for three cents called an album, and they sold it for fifteen bucks. <laughs> That's and then, right. Yeah, and 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 um, that was the only way to get it. And though, and then when CDs came out in the nineties, they resold all, all the, that whole catalog again, and they for had so sure. much money. So, giving a budget for a hundred thousand um, dollars to a band they just signed that had maybe one or two two kind of hit songs. And maybe it was a band too that that you may never ever hear from again. You know, like right, they, right. They seriously, give a hundred thousand dollar budget, which you know, which which you could do a lot of stuff with. To, oh yeah, to go, to go shoot a, a, a song, you know. So um, that was the day back then when when that that and that that era I loved it. And so I always tell people that if it, if the music business had stayed the same. I probably may may have not left it as much because I loved it so much. I just I, I loved doing it. I loved you know when, when you could make a living off doing it. But then there came the time when digital started, and you could just see it happening because that same you know hundred thousand dollar budget that I would that that, that I told you about. <laughs> they you'd go in there and they go well. This guy over here, he he says he can do it for thirty thousand. Then you start doing the math, and you're like, "I'm gonna lose money on this." Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, oh That's yeah. So crazy. Yeah, it's so interesting too to talk about transitions in the music industry and transitions into your own career. So, with right. being in the documentary lane as well as well as filmmaking lane which went first did you easily go up to documentary and then to like feature films and projects like that or was it kind of vice versa yeah even during that time i i um when i was making videos i took some writing classes yeah and and just because i was writing mini scripts kind of for videos at, at the time and and um i i took took some writing classes and started writing my own material and and um, that's kind of how I transitioned into that stuff um, I had a short film at at um, the hard to come by film which is yeah it's like um it's it um we won the Manhattan festival and we won an I won an LA festival as the direct as best director that year and that changed nice. because then people started looking at my stuff the, right that's right and, that's right, right. grips and stuff and so that that kind of uh that was kind of the progression do you have a do you have one or the other that you prefer more do you like the documentary style where you can go and kind of like because i feel like documentaries can sometimes be more artsy than the films right you like you can get deeper into it or or take it in different directions or do you prefer the film and and being able to tell the story through the film I, I think yeah right now um, I'm I probably the rest of my life I would probably not do a documentary again. Mm. The documentaries are the the they really take a long time mm. and and you have to be so involved in that. And I have so many things going on right now that that probably wouldn't be be something I would I would I would do again. But. It, it's it, it, it i don't have the energy for it to, to <laughs> yeah. like one project. really i want to concentrate on everything that i'm that i'm doing at the at the time um to make it the best possible 